The sky at night, a mountaintop window on the cosmos, the view of infinity. And high above, space telescope, probing the depths of distance and time. Gathering images like this from the edge of the visible universe, a brilliant primordial jet streaming from a quasar. By comparison, a mere galaxy is minuscule, but better understood. A cloud-like collection of perhaps a hundred thousand million stars swirls and spirals. Galaxies have condensed over some 15 billion years into the celestial patterns we see today. Encyclopedia Galactica charts the cosmos, setting the abundance of scenes like this against the utter emptiness of the universe. Pictures and data gleaned from space probes and the most powerful instruments on Earth and new theories, one on galactic evolution. Here, a photograph of two galaxies in close encounter. Modeled on computer, they seem to unravel each other. It's clear in reverse how this cosmic kiss changes their shapes. Beyond and galaxies appear as clusters, each point of light a group of galaxies. These vast strands encircling unimaginable voids are the structure of the universe. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is an unremarkable spiral. Old stars at the center, younger ones in the outer reaches. Within the galaxy, these are the stars themselves, each dot a sun in its own right, hundreds upon thousands upon millions. Closer to, and clouds of bright gas and dark dust as material billows from energetic new stars. Unlike the Sun, most stars are pairs or triplets. These three are the system Alpha Centauri. After the Sun, they are Earth's nearest stellar neighbors. Even so, their starlight takes more than four years to reach us. At 45 light years away, the six stars of Castor, three sets of twins, all in orbit. Encyclopedia Galactica attends the birth of a star, a swirling cloud of gas and dust falling in on itself. As it coalesces, so temperatures soar. They trigger nuclear reactions. A star is born. And a star dies, its final breath a great nebula, the corpse a tiny pulsing neutron star. This photo of the gum nebula is the remnant of such a catastrophe. But its debris can recycle to spawn new stars like the sun. Born five billion years ago, the sun is just eight light minutes from Earth. The local specimen of a rather ordinary type of star. X-ray reveals its nature. The sun is a nuclear furnace, a turbulent colossus where every second four million tons of hydrogen is turned into helium. Encyclopedia Galactica cruises the planets, 
a journey through the nine worlds of the solar system. To the red planet, Mars. A ride down Mariner Valley, 20 times bigger than the Grand Canyon. The contours are exaggerated, but this is virtual reality, volcanoes and all. These are the features of Mars interpreted by computer. The source, photographs and data radioed by space probes. Onward and outward to Jupiter and its many moons. This is the giant of the solar system, two thirds the mass of all the planets combined. Time lapse of Jupiter, among the most exotic sequences in the history of space photography. The camera was aboard Voyager, one of two robot explorers which have unveiled the outer planets. They photographed Saturn. Twin probes whose parting tryst glimpsed the beguiling Saturnian rings. As Voyager 1 spun away into the galactic void, Voyager 2 set course for Uranus. It revealed a cool giant with an intriguing moon, Miranda. Close up, Miranda was a symphony of contour, icy cliffs towering 20 kilometers or more. And around Uranus itself, Voyager detected a powerful magnetosphere. Four years later, and Voyager's final rendezvous, Neptune, another gas giant, and a place with the coldest surface in the solar system, Neptune's great satellite, Triton. And far beyond, Pluto with its moon, a mission yet to come. A flight over Venus. Of the inner planets, the Venusian surface has been the hardest to see, for it's enveloped by permanent cloud. Now, thanks to radar mappers, computers have visualized this, a ghostly topography, scuffed like an ocean bed. Venus, on the left, lies second nearest to the Sun. Tiny baked Mercury has the closest orbit of all. Planet by planet, Encyclopedia Galactica catalogues the pictures and the facts. It explores Earth as a planet. The collective satellite and computer data of NASA, the former Soviets, the Japanese, the Europeans. Above all, Encyclopedia Galactica places our beautiful, fragile world within the immensity of the universe. From the Big Bang, the formation of the galaxies, to the evolution of this planet Earth. And practical guides, learning the night sky, how to use telescopes and cameras, where to go, what to do. Plus the story of manned spaceflight, not just the past, but plans for a mission to Mars and a return to the moon. Stay with us after the break when we take a close-up look at the sun, the powerhouse for all life on Earth. We'll be recreating the birth of our local star and our solar system, and bringing you extraordinary film of the aurora, eclipses, sunspots and flares on the sun's surface. <laughs> 